everybody out there, this is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Team Captain Field Pass, the fastest way to upgrade all of your players and how to unlock all of them for free. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. We got a lot to talk about. So if you're new to Madden Ultimate Team, the Team Captain Field Pass is something that will be around for the entire year and it's basically a way to obtain free players and upgrade them for free throughout the year, mostly via objectives and collectibles. So if you go into your field passes and go down to team captains, you have five available players right now. They may add on more players when we jump into season two, season three, and so forth. That's something that they did last year. And as you might notice here, I have this field pass for right now totally completed. It's going to update in the format that they used last year was every other Monday, we got new objectives that led to more XP and the more XP that we earn were more upgrade tokens and you're going to use these tokens to upgrade the five featured players that are available right now so if you scroll through the rewards you can see and we're going to go down through all of the players and talk about the best ones to upgrade first and just everything you need to know about them uh, but if you take a look at levels two four six eight and ten all of the even numbers to start out you're going to unlock the base level of these players and the five featured players are all going to be at a 78 overall you're then going to use these upgrade tokens to upgrade them and and at this very moment, the time that you're watching this video, the maximum level that they can be upgraded to is an 83 overall. So to get them to an 83 overall, it's going to require five tokens. And at this moment, there are seven tokens available. So you can go all out and upgrade one player to an 83 overall. You can spread those tokens across a couple different players, maybe upgrade a couple of them to an 80, one to a 79. The choice is up to you. Again, we're going to go through all of the players in the moment. Uh, in a moment, I want to talk about the fastest way to level up through this this field pass so we have statistical objectives we have team captain specific objectives and then your head-to-head -head in solo battles i don't know which ones are going to update throughout the year last year in mutt 24 there was just a week one objective week three week five week seven every other monday they updated them as far as these go uh the first two sections the statistical section and the team captain section it's important to note that in this section here the team captain section you have to have one of those team captain players in your lineup so once you get to level two which is troy vincent you want to throw him in your lineup if it's cb three four or five you can hide him in the depth chart that's fine but none of these objectives are going to track unless you have at least one of the team captains in your lineup and as far as you know the first way or the fastest way to get that very first team captain it's probably going to be going and just scoring points and you can generally do this by playing solo challenges now the solos that i use to knock out pretty much everything in the statistical section and the team captain section was going to be via the training camp solos these are probably the easiest solos available at this moment because if you go through and take a look they're all on rookie difficulty they're all on arcade which means if you're on defense the computer's going to fumble a lot and it's just just generally easier to get these done so when it comes to passing yards you can do the passing perfection solo for the rushing yards you can do the rapid rushing solo or you can do the team tempo one which will end every time you uh, complete three plays in my experience for the most part i was able to get to the end zone and you're going to get 75 yards every time you do the solo i would load into it throw a bomb downfield fall short of maybe you know five yards into the end zone and then run two more plays whether it's rushing or passing when you finish the solo you can return to challenges you can go to the next challenge or you can replay the challenge you want to replay it every single time if you're simply just chasing after those statistical objectives when it comes to the fumbles or the tackles tackles you mostly just got naturally playing the game throughout different game modes but fumbles or anything defensively you can go into the second tier or second sequence uh in the scrimmage commences or stop their advance those are ones where you're going to be on defense again arcade uh rookie difficulty just very easy to get done so those are the solo challenges that i completed to get the statistical objectives done uh one of the other objectives the one at the bottom the head-to-head -head was just simply winning 10 games i got pretty much all of those done in solo seasons we're going to talk about solo seasons in a little while in a future video and how you make coins from it and how it can be improved but if you just jump into the amateur seasons you can win 10 games from here very very easy it's not time consuming at all that will knock out that objective and if they continue to add on that type of objective throughout the year to earn more tokens 
this is probably going to be the fastest and easiest way to get those done. As I mentioned, I have that field pass totally complete for now until they add on more. We have all five of the team captains and we have seven of those collectibles. We're going to show you how to upgrade these players in a moment, but let's talk about who you should upgrade first. And it's going to be dependent on your play style, your current roster. Everybody's not going to be the same, but we'll start with Jeff Saturday. This in the long run is probably going to be one of the better options to continue to upgrade as we are allowed to increase their overall again maximum 83 right now to start the only reason i would stay away from it to begin with i mean it's a pretty good card at an 83 overall and building the trenches the offensive and defensive lines for free is the key in this game to building your team it allows you to spend those coins on the skill position guys the running backs the quarterbacks wide receivers cornerbacks etc um this card 81 strength 83 awareness 83 pass block not a fan of the run block being a 76 the reason i would stay away from from upgrading this card right now is because if you're participating in the early access you have access to the ultimate preseason field pass and promo and maxing out this field pass getting to level 8 gives you an 82 overall BND hero fantasy pack what does this have to do with Jeff Saturday I believe the best choice out of that fantasy pack is Lloyd Cushenberry, who is also a center. Now, he doesn't have the same strength. He's minus one in total overall, but he gives you 80 awareness, 82 pass block, and 81 run block. I don't think that the Jeff Saturday card is light years ahead of this card, which is free and would be a BND. So in that pack, when you unlock that field pass or finish that field pass, I would go with Cushenberry, and I would just kind of save Jeff Saturday uh, for down the road. The next one's going to be Manti Teo, and by the way, whenever you upgrade any of these players to an 83 overall they get any team chemistry of your choice which is going to make it a lot easier to go out there and build a theme team eventually we'll have enough tokens to get more than one player to an 83 and that means more theme teams towards that counter for whatever theme team you're rocking or if you're going for a hybrid squad this card is solid everybody's probably looking for a user this early on in the game an 80 speed at the middle linebacker position isn't terrible but just remember you got the season one field pass ray lewis which i think is probably the top one two or three cards within the season one field pass to upgrade first we put out a video on that yesterday 80 speed on this one 84 acceleration 81 hit power my biggest problem is the block shed and the zone coverage he's not really good at stopping the run right now nor is he good at stopping the pass within zone coverage so if you want to use him 100 of the time not a bad choice but if you're going to depend on the ai to control him i'd stay away from this one for now mike tolbert is probably like the best option or at least one a right now so again in the season one field pass you have the mike allstott which is definitely going to be a better card than this Mike Tolbert. But really the purpose of Mike Tolbert and any fullback that can get any team cam is simply just helping you build that theme team because it's at a position where, you know, not a lot of teams get actual fullbacks. I can tell you, for example, with the Eagles, unless we get out of position, Refrigerator Perry or Keith Byers comes back to the game, we generally don't have a fullback for our theme team. So that's where this card is going to be incredibly helpful. As far as the attributes at an 83 overall, they're not really good this early on 80 speed 83 trucking that's pretty solid but the run block at 79 lead block at 80 he's not a great blocking fullback but i wouldn't be mad if you did fully upgrade this car to an 83 just to take advantage of the team chem i promise i'm not being a homer with this one but i do think that troy vincent today day one week one is probably the best option to fully upgrade to an 83 is he the best cornerback in the world absolutely not but it's a position where if you want speed and not saying 81 speed is incredibly fast but if you want speed at this position you're gonna have to spend some coin uh this one will give you the 81 speed 84 acceleration 84 agility 80 man coverage the zone is a little shaky good thing is you do get if you got the pre-order deluxe edition a strategy item that gives you plus one zone to all of your cornerbacks it's actually plus one man and plus one zone so you can get them up to 81 man in 80 zone makes them really well balanced just you know no matter what type of scheme you might run on defense or if you like to mix it up so i think tolbert is probably either option two or one b troy vincent's going to be one a and then we still have jason witten the only thing that's good about this card as it stands at an 83 overall 
is the run block. If you're a runner, if you're a heavy runner, tight ends with good run block are always going to be valuable to you. So if you find that you run the ball a lot, you know your game more than I do, this is going to be the best pick for you because of the 73 run block. As far as a receiving threat, the 79 speed, a bit too slow. He does have good catch, catch in traffic. Uh, the route running is decent with the 80 short, 79 mid, but there's a lot of really inexpensive tight ends out there that can get 82 to 83 speed and not have to spun a ton of coin so i like this card for running only or if you're a run first person but overall it's not the greatest choice so with all that being said this is how you're going to upgrade the cards i'm going to know a lot of you probably already know this but we're going to go into the troy vincent and by the way prior to him being an 83 overall he is a super liability in coverage, so beware of that. Um, you do have to spend, no, I take that back. I was going to say, you do have to spend that initial five training on the card. Uh, this is one of those rare exceptions where you actually don't, but you go to the upgrade path and you're just simply going to place the tokens in here. Now, the good thing about this is that, you know, obviously as you put more tokens in, he's going to upgrade in overall and the max is an 83 overall. But if you ever change your mind, you can always just go to refund. There's no penalty. You're just simply going to get your token back and then you can go back and put it into a different team captain so metas will change theme teams will change positions of need will change for you throughout the year and it's always just kind of good to know that these decisions are not final at all if i get tired of troy vincent maybe i have four really good cornerbacks maybe ea goes on a run of giving us a bunch of free cornerbacks from various promos and whatnot i can always downgrade this item go get my tokens back and then place them into a different team captain of my choice depending on my positions of need for my team or my scheme, what have you. So you can see now that we have him to an 83 overall, it unlocks the chemistries and position section down here. And if I wanted to, I mean, I happen to rock an Eagles steam team, uh, but if I wanted to, I could change to a different team chemistry here, depending on whatever one you want to do. Now you don't have to max these cards out at an 83 right yet. I just told you earlier, you can kind of spread these tokens around. So if you wanted to bump a couple of them up to an 80 overall, to just kind of generally make your team a little bit better overall you can go that route for me i'm going to go with the troy vincent to an 83 overall i'm going to use those remaining two tokens that i have to pull mike tolbert up to an 80 overall and for now that's how i'm going to leave it and again notice that the chemistries and positions and i believe he can get half back or running back as a secondary position notice these are still locked you don't have access to these until you finally get him to an 83 overall and at this very moment there's not enough tokens but like i said at the top of the video early or later uh, along the year as the year goes on more objectives will get added into that field pass that allow you to earn more xp and more xp is going to equal more tokens and more tokens going to be more upgrades and more upgrades is going to be more cards on your team that can get higher and overall for free and that is the team captain promo explained if you got any additional questions leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace